Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Amank in Cloud. In this demonstration video, we are going to create an AWS EKS cluster, Elastic Kubernetes Service cluster using the commands like EKS CTL. So firstly, we will create a cluster with zero nodes and then we will try to associate IMDC, I IAM OIDC provider for the EKS cluster. And then we will also create additional, uh, you know, node groups with two nodes and then we will verify how if the nodes are coming up or not and then we will also try to delete all the things that we created okay so without wasting much time let's get started so for the ease of the you know video what i've done is i've uh, documented all the required commands uh, in my github repository i'll make sure to add the link to this in the description box below you can also check that out okay firstly we will have to create the eks cluster using eks so i'm assuming that you've already installed your aws cli eks uh, uh, eks ctl and also your kubelet on your uh, local machine if you haven't done uh, i will have a you know separate video for the installation um, please go ahead and watch that on how to install all the dependencies okay so to create a cluster you just have to run ekctl create cluster and the name of the cluster i'm using amc demo change it to whatever you want and the region i am using us east 1 and uh, the zones i am uh, you know going to use is us east 1 and us east 1b so uh, i'm going with without node group so the reason is uh, if i go with node group directly you we will not be able to understand what are the things that are uh, you know happening at, uh, under the hood so what i thought i'll first go ahead and create without a node group and then add a node group at the end okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy this one and i'll open my terminal in my mac and i'll run the same command okay so this is the command that i'm running i'll hit enter so if you see here uh, it, we are utilizing EKS CTL version of uh, 0.174.0 and um, we have specified the reason as US East 1 and uh, it is going and uh, selecting the subnets for US East 1A and US East 1B. These are the subnet details. Okay. And uh, we are using the Kubernetes version of 1.29. Uh, that is good and um, this deployment uh, is going to create um, uh, aws cloud formation stack so if you go to aws console and go to your cloud formation stack it will you know start creating a cloud formation stack if you see here ekctl uh, amc demo cluster that is the name of the demo cluster that i gave and it is going and creating uh, the creation is still in progress so uh, according to aws it might take 15 to 20 minutes for a cluster to come up so what i'll do is i'll pause the video for a while and i'll get back to you once the cluster is up and running all right uh, if you see the time difference it's almost uh, taken 11 minutes to create the cluster so now let's go to AWS console before checking uh, in the you know CLI. Uh, if you go to CloudFormation, if you see the status should be in create complete state. And one heads up guys, um, whatever the changes that you make to the cluster, either it can be adding you know a new role to the EKS cluster or something like that. If you do that and if you try to delete the cluster using EKS ETL delete commands, it won't work. That is because you have changed the CloudFormation stack and if there is any changes made to the CloudFormation uh, stack, it will throw an error and you cannot delete that. So if you want to go ahead and delete it, you will have to manually delete all the things. So uh, to avoid that, what you can do is whatever the changes that you make, make sure to roll back that and then delete it using EKSCTL so that was just a heads up now let's go to you know uh, aws um, you know eks elastic kubernetes service console page and see if the cluster is up and running or not okay if you see here we have a cluster called amc demo and it is using kubernetes version 1.29 and that is uh, uh, supported still march of march 2025 and if you want to upgrade it you just have to click upgrade now so that's 
that's there for another you know lecture video uh, let's go inside the cluster right now and if you see these are all the details um, this is a, a api server endpoint open id connect and let's go to compute and if you see here there are zero nodes and zero node groups that is because we did we had specified uh, you know property called without node group right so once you do this there will be no node groups or the nodes that are running okay the good thing about uh, eks is that everything will come you know by uh, itself like it's a managed uh, resource by aws meaning uh, these things like are, uh, all the required details like networking setup uh, it can be uh, other things like uh, you know all the services will be in place for you you just have to go ahead create pods create services replica sets deployment so whatever you want and then get started so if you want to do all of these things on yourself it will take a lot of time and effort and it is not a simple process too so that's why we go ahead and do this okay now uh, let's go ahead and uh, you know get the cluster details to that what you can do is you can ctl class get cluster so basically this will give you all the details i mean all the clusters that are present in that particular region so if i hit enter you will see uh, the clusters that are present in that region if you see here amc demo um, yeah, us east one and uh, whether it was created using ekctl and it's true and let's say you have created a, a cluster in another region uh, with another name let's say amc demo one then that will also be listed here with the region and if it was created using uh, ekctl then it will be true okay so this is how you do it now let's uh, you know uh, let's go ahead and run some kubectl commands like for example kubectl get nodes and see if there are nodes are available if you see uh, there are no resources found uh, that's because we do not have any nodes right now uh, also let's try and see what are the uh, you know pods that are available in in the uh, cube system uh, you know namespace if you see here there are uh, you know two pods that are core dns and uh, core dns uh, is been you know it's still in pending state that's because we have not started anything uh, on this cluster so this is how you actually create a you know cluster using eks ctl next what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create uh, an iam oidc provider and attach it to the uh, eks cluster now you might ask me why do we need this so uh, the reason is to enable and use iam roles for eks uh, you know cluster service accounts on eks cluster so we must create and associate oidc uh, identity provider else we won't be able to do that so the template for that is uh, eks uh, ctl utils associate iam oidc provider and you need to provide the region name um, and the cluster name and uh, you have to mention approve so uh, what i've done is i've uh, you know replaced all of them with uh, the values that i want if you see here eks ctl utils associate iam OD, uh, oidc provider uh, region is us east one and the cluster name or uh, whatever the cluster that i approved uh, deployed and uh, lastly approve so i'll just copy this and i'll uh, go back to my terminal and i'll just paste this and let's see what happens ideally it should take one or two seconds and that's it if you see here it, uh, crea it created an iam or, or open id connect provider for the cluster amc demo in us east one okay next uh, we will have to create an ec2 key pair if you ask me the reason for creating an ec2 key pair it is simple uh, we are going to create the nodes at the end when i say nodes it is nothing but your ec2 instances managed by kubernetes itself so let's say if you want to verify something on the ec2 node then you need some kind of an authentication mechanism to log into that uh, ec2 instance and that is why we need the key pair in e in aws we use key pairs for logging into the servers and that's why we need to create it beforehand so what i'll do is i'll go to my uh, aws console and i'll go to ec2 and this is where you create key pairs you come all the way down and you will see key pairs here i do not have any key pairs let's go ahead and 
click on create key pair and I'll say AMC demo uh, what I have, what the the name that I've given is AMC demo okay I'll just copy the same I'll explain uh, what are the things uh, so I'll just new, give this a name and I'll uh, you know go with the default key pair type that is RSA and if you're on Mac uh, on Linux you can go ahead and select um, .pem or if you're using Windows you can directly go ahead and uh, choose PPK but what I usually do is I usually download .pem and then convert uh, you know uh, to .ppk if required uh, using Putigen. So I'll go with .pem and I'll just click on create key pair. It will automatically download the key pair. Okay, so that uh, looks good. Now let's go to the next step, which is to verify uh, which we already did. I know which is to create the node group with the additional add-ons in the public subnets. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, you know show you um, EKS uh, to create a node group. This is the standard command that we have that is EKSCTL create node group. So let's go to our uh, you know terminal. I'll, I'll just paste this one and I'll just say hyphen hyphen help. And let's see what are the things that we have. If you see here, we have all this, uh, you know, additional flags that we can set that is ASG access. You know, we have a lot of options that we can set. So what is a cluster region? These are all the flags that we have. So in these uh, flags, we are going to utilize these, the, this one, uh, ASG access, external DNS access, full ECR access, app mesh access alb ingress access these are all the you know details that we are going to provide and other than this uh, we need when we are creating a node uh, it needs to understand to which cluster we need to attach so i'm giving the cluster name as amc demo that is a cluster that we have and the region is us east one that's where the cluster is deployed and the name i'm giving uh, the name of the you know um, a node group that I'm giving is AMC demo ng public one. Let's keep that uh, as is, and we will uh, go with the node type as you know t3 dot medium. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, two nodes. That's all. Uh, I'm using t3 medium just because uh, you know uh, if you are going to use a lot of other uh, 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 EC2 instance type, it will cost you a lot. So just to make sure that we are uh, in the budget, we are going with this option. Okay, next uh, we are, uh, as I told you, we are going with uh, nodes, two minimum nodes and four maximum nodes. And the volume size of uh, nodes will be 20. And we are allowing SSH access using this public key that we just downloaded. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this command and I'll go to my, you know, uh, terminal and I'll just paste this and then hit enter. It will also take you some time. It should not take more uh, time than it took for the creation of the cluster itself. So probably it will take a minute or two to create the nodes depending on your configuration. So uh, we will have to wait uh, until this is completed. And if you see here, it has created another cloud formation stack with this name EKSCTL node group amc demo ng public one so this is the uh, you know name of the node group that we provided and that's why it is going ahead and creating the stack using that name so let's go to uh, you know e e aws console to verify that if i go to cloud formation there will be another stack name with that and that will be in create progress if you see here this is what's happening i'll go to uh, eks cluster service and if you open the cluster go to compute you see uh, a node group was added before uh, we checked this it was zero now a node group is added and if you see this is still in progress once this is done you will see two nodes here and two ec2 instances will be running in the console let's also show you that ec2 and if you see there are zero instances right now once we'll come back once the stack is completed we will see that also okay so i'll come back once this is done all right uh, if you see now uh, it almost took three minutes for the stack to complete and if you see all the node groups have been up to date with the cloud formation template so let's go back to the you know eks cluster page and i'll just refresh this page once if you see here um, this is the node group and as i told you there are two you know nodes that have come up 
and if i go to ec2 instances you see there are two uh, ec2 instances that are running with the name amc demo amc demo and if you go to tags you will see this is managed by eks cluster okay so this is how you create the node groups and uh, if you want to verify the cloud formation stack also if i go to cloud formation that will be in complete state okay now let me go and uh, you know let's go ahead and run the same command that is to get the cluster details so what i'll do is i'll clear the screen and i'll run ekctl get cluster you should get the cluster details uh, we are getting that next we will go ahead and uh, you know run uh, kubectl get nodes let's see what happens kubectl get nodes you should be seeing two nodes um, with their uh, ip addresses if you see here these are the two nodes okay so if you want more details on that uh, what you can do is you can use hyphen o wide you will get the public ip external ip and all those details os image is amazon linux too okay so if you are wondering if i will be able to log into this machine or not yes you will be able to you can use this public ip and login okay so if you want to verify that also we can do that uh, there is no issue what i have done is i have downloaded the key pair in the downloads directory so what i'll do is so i'll go to C cd into downloads okay now what i'll do is here i should be seeing a file called mc demo okay we have that but before that uh, i'll change the permission to 400 on this um, amc demo okay so this is a required thing when you're logging in so what i'll do is i'll just execute ssh hyphen hi and i'll just say amc hyphen demo key pair and i'll just use ec2 hyphen ec2 hyphen the rate ec2 user at the rate uh, I'll use the public IP and I'll hit enter and you should be inside the uh, node. You see, uh, I'm inside this node right now. Okay, so this is how you create the cluster and create the node groups. And if you're wondering how to, you know, create or uh, after creating, how do you delete the, you know, cluster? So you can go one by one. So what happens is when you delete the cluster, firstly, the nodes will be deleted and then the cluster itself will be deleted or the master node so uh, if you want to delete a node group alone what you can do is you can use this command ekctl node group you can provide the cluster name and the node group name or you can directly delete the cluster itself by running ekctl demo uh, delete cluster and whatever the cluster name that you had you can use that and you can run it it will also take some time uh, just like the cluster creation time and it will uh, delete the cluster i'm not going to do that but uh, that was just for your reference so just to verify if everything is working fine or not what you can do is you can uh, you know simply create a pod and see if it was working fine or not so what i'll say uh, i'll just run uh, nginx um, pod and see if it was working so kubectl run nginx hyphen hyphen image is equal to nginx and i'll hit enter sorry oh sorry uh, i'm inside the you know node i need to exit out of it so i'll just copy the same command and i'll run on my local machine now i'm on my local machine i'll just run the same and if you see here a pod is getting created so what i'll do is i'll just say kubectl get pods and you will be seeing the pods and if you want to verify more details about the pod you know how it goes but if you are wondering uh, how to create pods in different uh, you know ways i'll create a separate video on that in the uh, next day or upcoming videos you can watch out for that and yeah that's all i had for this video i think if you're liking the video that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it with your friends and if you're learning uh, eks uh, join me uh, you know i'll be uh, documenting all the learnings that i'm uh, having on the eks uh, aws eks so looking forward to meeting you all thank you and i'll see you in the next one